Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Sorry, I got to still have my tail, but I'm going to show you how to make this super easy spring or summer hat. Very, very easy. If you know how to do double and single crochet, you'll be able to make this hat. Um, you can make the brim on it as long or as short as you want. So it's versatile to fit uh, to your desired brim size. Um, it's, it's made to fit about a 21 to 21 and a half inch head and it's about seven inches down not counting the brim of the hat that doesn't count you can make like i said you can add more rows or whatever you want to do for that um i just want to take a second to ask you to please not forget to hit that subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner if you see it there and um give this video a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it so let's go ahead and get started on this okay for this project i'm using a lion brand comfy cotton blend um, it is a polyester cotton blend, 392 yards would be planning to make the hat. Now this is classified as a lightweight three. I don't think that it is a lightweight three. I think it's classified wrong. Um, so if you don't use this yarn, I would recommend using a four weight yarn. So this yarn, and if you choose not to use this one, you definitely don't have to use it. Any four weight yarn will work. As you can see by looking at it, it looks more like a four weight to me. And then let's see, the color I'm using is called sugarcane. And then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. All right, we're going to go ahead and start with a slip knot on our hook. We're going to go and we're going to work a chain of three. Now I'm going to slip stitch back into the first chain to form a ring. Now, if you prefer to use the magic circle, that would be fine too. Now I'm going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And I'm going to work 12 double crochets through the center of this ring. So I'm going to yarn over and go through the center of the ring, draw up my loop, and then I'm just going to do my double crochet like normal. And I want to do that 12 times through the center. So that last one was number one. This is number two. three, four, five. All right, I made it back around and I have my 12 double crochets. Now, if you pull your tail, it'll close out that center circle a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go ahead and end round one by slip stitching into my first double crochet that I made. Not the chain one, the first double crochet. I'll have 12 stitches. And that'll end round one. So for round two, I'm going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And I'm going to work two double crochets right here into this very first stitch that we slip stitched into. Two doubles into that same stitch. And now I'm going to work two doubles into the next stitch. And I'm going to continue working around, putting two double crochets in every stitch until I get back to my starting point. Just like that. So two doubles in each stitch till you get back to the beginning. All right, I've made it back to the end of round two. I'm gonna go ahead and end with a slip stitch into my first double crochet, and now you should have 24 stitches. Now for round three, I'm going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. I'm gonna work one double crochet right there into that very first stitch that I slip stitched into, one double. Now the next stitch, I'm gonna put two double crochets into the same stitch. And now the repeat is one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochets into the next. Repeat it again, one double into the next stitch 
and two doubles into the next. So that should repeat for round three. One double, two doubles. One double, two doubles. One double, two doubles, all the way around until you get back to the beginning. All right, I've made it to the end of round three. And we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And now you should have 36 stitches. So round four, we're gonna chain one, doesn't count as a stitch. We're gonna put one double crochet right back there in that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. And now we're gonna put one double crochet into the next stitch. And then the next stitch is going to get two double crochets into the same stitch. So now we'll start our repeat for round four. We're gonna put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one double into the next stitch, one double into the next stitch, and then two doubles into the next. And then we're gonna repeat that again. One double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's one double. One double. And then two doubles into the next. And that's the pattern we're gonna repeat all the way around for round four. One double, one double, two doubles. One double, one double, two doubles. All the way around until we get back to the beginning. All right, I've made it to the end of round four. We're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And now you should have 48 stitches. For round five, we're gonna chain one, does not count as a stitch. And we're gonna put one double crochet into that very first stitch that we slip stitched into. And we're gonna put one double crochet into the next stitch. one double crochet into the next stitch and then the next stitch is going to get two double crochets into the same stitch so now we start our repeat it's one double crochet into the next three stitches so there's one two and three and then the next stitch will get two double crochets into the same stitch. Repeat that again. One double crochet into the next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. And then the next one is two doubles into the same stitch. So that's the pattern we're gonna repeat now for round five. One double into the next three stitches, and then two doubles into the next. Again, one double into the next three, and then two doubles into the next. And we're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the beginning. All right, I've made it to the end of round five. We're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And now you have a total of 60 stitches. So for round six, I'm going to chain one, and now round six is just one double crochet in every stitch around. So we're not gonna be increasing anymore at this moment until we get to the brim. But for now, we're just gonna do the hat portion. So we're gonna go ahead and put one double crochet right there in that first stitch that we slip stitched into, just like always. And then one double crochet in every stitch until we get back around to the beginning. Just like this. So round six is just one double crochet in every stitch until we get back to our starting point. All right, I've made it to the end of round six and I wanna go ahead and end with a slip stitch into my first double crochet. And I still should have 60 stitches. Now round seven and eight are the repeat rounds for the main Part of the hat until we get to the brim. So around seven, we're gonna chain one, which does not count as a stitch. We're going to go ahead and double crochet right here into the first stitch that we slip stitched into. 
And then we're going to chain one. We're going to skip one. And we're going to double crochet into the next. And that's kind of the repeat. We're going to chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. So it's really pretty easy. We're going to chain one, skip one. So skip this one, double into the next, chain one, skip one, and double into the next. Just like that. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way around until we get back to the beginning. Chain one, skip one, double into the next, chain one, skip one, and double into the next. So I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back over here to my starting point. All right, I'm coming to the end of round seven. I did it my last double crochet here and I have one stitch left. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip that last stitch and I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double crochet. Now at the end of round seven, you should have 30 double crochets and 30 chain one spaces. For round eight, I'm going to chain one double crochet right here back into that same stitch and I'm going to put one double crochet in every chain space and in every double crochet so I'm gonna go ahead and double crochet right through this next chain space double crochet into the top of the next double crochet double crochet right here into the next chain space and then into the top of the next double, into the next chain space, into the top of the next double, and that's what I'm going to repeat all the way around. Right into the next chain space, and into the next double, and into the next chain space. You see I'm just going right through the space and double crocheting and then top of the next double. So I'm gonna repeat this pattern of working one double crochet in every chain space and in every double crochet until I get back to my starting point. All right, I'm coming to the end of round eight. Going to double crochet there in that last chain space. End with a slip stitch into your first double crochet and now you'll have 60 stitches again. So now what we're going to do is just repeat rounds 7 and 8 until we get our hat as long as we need it to be. So for round 9, I'm just going to repeat round 7. That's where we chain 1, go back into the same stitch and double crochet. And then we chain 1, skip 1, and double into the next. Chain 1, skip 1, and double into the next. So I'm going to continue repeating rounds 7 and 8, and I'll let you know in just a second how many total rounds I do. So round 7 and 8 is the repeat. Okay, I went ahead and I have done a total of 12 rounds, and that is starting from round 1 all the way down equals 12. So you can look and see that I have three rounds of the chain one spaces. Now you try this on and if you feel like it's not long enough, you can put uh, uh, more rounds but or less rounds. So make sure you end in a round of just straight double crochet. Now what we're gonna do round, I did 12 rounds here. For round 13, we're gonna start the brim. And it's really pretty easy too. So we're gonna chain one and we're gonna put one double crochet back into that same stitch like that. And I'm going to put one double crochet into the next two stitches. So if you count that first double crochet, we have three double crochets in a row. Now the next stitch, I'm going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. So we're increasing now on uh, round uh, 13. And this is the brim, the start of the brim. So I'm going to repeat. I'm going to put one double crochet into the next three stitches. 
There's one, two, and three. And then the next stitch is going to get two double crochets into the same stitch. Repeat it again. One double crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three. And then two double crochets into the next. So that's the repeat now for round 13. One double crochet in the next three, and then two double crochets into the next. One double into the next three, two doubles in the next, and we're gonna repeat that pattern all the way around until we get back to the beginning. All right, I have made it to the end of round 13. You wanna go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first double crochet, and, and now you'll have a total of 75 stitches. Now what I'm gonna do, we're not gonna increase anymore. We're just gonna do some rounds of double crochet to make the brim bigger. So I'm just gonna chain one, doesn't count as a stitch. Go back into that same stitch there that we slip stitched into, double crochet. And I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna work one double crochet in every stitch. We're on round 14 now. And I'm gonna continue all the way around, putting one double in every stitch until I get back to the beginning. Just like that. Okay, I come to the end of round 14. I still have my 75 stitches, but an end with a slip stitch into your first double crochet. Now, if you wanna make your brim longer, you can, you can make it however long you want. I'm going to quit here and I'm going to finish it off round 15 with a round of single crochet. So I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go back into the same stitch and single crochet. And now I'm just going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. This is round 15. This is just going to neaten up the edge a little bit. Just like this. So one single on every stitch until you get back to your starting point. All right, I made it back around. I should have 75 single crochets. Go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first single crochet. Not that chain one, but the first single. And we can go ahead and clip this yarn and tie it off. And that is it that's all there is to it now remember you could have made that brim as long as you wanted so super easy little nice little uh summer hat i hope you enjoyed my tutorial hey don't don't please don't forget to check out all my tutorials i have hundreds and hundreds of crochet tutorials um also lots of yarn reviews and all kinds of stuff on my channel just take a minute to look around um and, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you look up in the left hand corner right now you see a picture of my face you click on that my face you'll automatically be subscribed and you'll never miss any of my videos thanks everybody for watching and have a good day